will be reading a book, a poetry book, written by R. H. Sin. The name of the book is "She's Strong, But She's Tired." I'll be flipping through the pages as we go. Your intro. I don't want this for you. That pain you're feeling now. You're anxious to the point of opening this book, and here we are. We always meet this way, don't we? You, tired and weary from loving the wrong person, and me, the stranger who wants nothing but an opportunity to remind you that you matter. And you've given me the chance by deciding to pick up this book, by choosing to let me in. There have been moments when you feel like giving up on yourself. And so you elect to remain in a relationship that is no longer worthy of your energy and time, struggling to smile beneath the weight of your sadness. I may not know you, but I am familiar with the heartache that resides within your heart. I can recall being broken by someone who I thought could care for me. She up and decided to make a mockery of the energy and time I invested, just like he has done to you, or maybe she has done to you. No matter the reason for your pain, and who may have caused it, you are more than the fucked up things that have happened to you, and you deserve more than what those fucked up people gave to you. It says a lot that you're here. Your eyes scanning this page with a heavy heart and mind that often feels confused and conflicted and tired, overthinking yourself into a corner that makes it difficult to walk away. You're here because you're ready to accept the fact that the person you love is incapable of reciprocating what you've given to them. You're here because the person you fought for has done nothing but fight you, instead of fighting for you. You picked up this book in search of a sign, not knowing that it would appear so early, and even though it hurts like hell. The path to heaven on earth usually begins with walking away from anyone who isn't supporting your idea of what love can be, and、I、admire you for that. Your ability to recognize your need and desire for more has inspired me to write down these very words. And though I am a bit unaware if these words will reach you in time, at least they're here, sketched upon this page for your eyes to see and for your heart to feel. May your light shine brighter than it's ever been, despite the darkness that surrounds you. And may your heart pulsate a melody that feels like love, despite you feeling hated by the one you love. May your mind be at ease as you consume these words. I hope you find something here that encourages you to see more of yourself. And once you find more of who you are, I hope you understand more of what you deserve. I hope you never settle again, because there is wild magic living within your heart. And、most of the people you meet will indeed have no clue what to do with it, but I believe you will find the person who will know how to love you correctly. That journey can begin now, if you allow it. Be here now, be like the sun. You need no permission to exist, to rise, to shine. Be like the moon. Make the choice to light your path in the depths of darkness. Many forms of abuse. He wants you to allow him back into the heart he destroyed. He wants you to love him blindly, as if he didn't show you, time and time again, that he was unworthy of your love. 
He wants you to trust him with your whole heart, despite knowing that he's betrayed you. Breaking a woman down, only to return to her later, is a form of emotional abuse. He's not sorry. Forgive him for the sake of yourself and walk away for the sake of your future. Women are poems that write themselves. It worked for a while because you were empty and he was full of beautiful lies. Single mothers Just because you share a child doesn't give him domain over your life. Just because he's the father of your child doesn't mean you are obligated to allow him the power to dictate your emotions. There is a way for him to father his child without compromising your peace of mind. Set boundaries, set rules, be the queen that you are and demand that he follows those guidelines. Just because you share a child doesn't mean you have to share yourself or share in part of his misery. Precious wild woman, chasing light, chasing love. She stopped demanding him to do all the things he won't do. She stopped begging him to change and just left him where he stood. Sadly, the world made her feel guilty for wanting to leave a man who could never appreciate her heart. She worried about quitting on someone who gave up on her long ago. It hurts because you genuinely give a fuck. Sometimes the heart cares for the wrong person. The right person will feel like home, so keep moving until you find a safe place to rest. You can't lose a man who never deserved to have you. You can't find safety in the arms of a man who is the reason for your heartache. The Verge Of how do you bear the heavy weight of sadness as you struggle in silence, telling others that you're okay while the foundation beneath your house of a heart begins to crumble and sink? You've tried everything, it seems, and none of it works, and so you travel down a road covered in shards of broken hearts, the ones he broke before you even knew him. A history of disappointment, a long list of events that would otherwise be red flags if you had known who he truly was. But he initially gave you the fraudulent version of himself. He made promises to your heart that he was never strong enough to keep, and in the end, all of this made you feel weak too tired to walk away but too tired to try again. You're somewhere in the middle of loving him and on the verge of loving yourself enough to leave him behind. An abundance of self-respect will cause you to detach from friends who are secretly foes and family members who do nothing but harm your heart. The more self-respect you gain, the more willing you are to lose people who don't deserve to be kept. High Frequency It was always his insecurities that made him unfaithful. 
that and his inability to stand firm in his commitment to the relationship. It takes a great deal of discipline and power to be able to devote oneself fully, and he found difficulty with the idea of remaining true to you. I know it hurts knowing that the person you love will never be able to reciprocate the energy and care that you've given to them. But it's not a loss for you. Maybe one day he'll look back and wish he had done things differently. Or perhaps he'll always be a fool, continually losing the things that should matter most to him. Regardless of what happens, you will go on to love yourself and someone who matches your frequency will eventually love you. In the end, you realize you never needed him. He never deserved you. And so his absence is not a loss. You gain so much more when you remove people who don't belong in your life. A concern of mine. Sometimes I worry about you. The stranger reading these words in this book. The stranger fighting a war by yourself. It's not easy being you, but you do it to the best of your abilities. It's not easy being you, and yet you survive on nights like this. You inspire me so much despite being a stranger. You inspire these words as you continue to fight for the love you deserve. I know it feels like moving on is impossible, and sometimes you don't even know where to start, but I hope you know that there is a power that lives within you, a power that no one can destroy, a power that can be used to set yourself free Sometimes I worry about you, but then I remember how strong you are. I believe in you, and please believe in yourself. Single Mothers too. And to those of you co-parenting a child with a man who has been less than kind, create boundaries, rules, guidelines. You deserve to be respected, and he must know that, and he must follow your rule as the queen you are. You don't have to walk away entirely from him, but you mustn't allow him the power to dictate your life. You are in control. Having a child in common doesn't mean you're obligated to put up with someone's BS. Stop giving second chances to fools. Stop providing new opportunities to those who never deserved the chance in the first place. Always this powerful. Look how far you've come, despite the pain, the heartache. You continue toward the love you deserve. You've always had this power. But there are nights when you're just tired, weary from fighting, exhausted from being weighed down by toxic relationships. We may not know each other, but if you're here, you're important, and you matter, and I care, and I will always be here to remind you, to push you, to encourage you, please. Never give in or give up on yourself. I think you're more than capable of doing what is necessary. No matter how difficult, you hold the required power to set yourself free. I don't want you to hurt anymore, and I hope these words help. Okay, that's it for part one of the book. If you happen to like it, stay tuned for part two on the next video. Thanks for watching. 
and listening. <laughs>